Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. And thanks for joining me. This is morning prayer for Sunday, May the 26th. It's the sixth Sunday of the Easter season and week five in the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 96. Ecclesiasticus chapter 43 verses 1 through 12 and 27 through 32. And a canticle from Revelation chapter 4 verse 9 and chapter 5 verses 9, 10, and 12. And now join me in singing the first verse of Come Ye Faithful. Come ye faithful, raise the strain of triumphant gladness. God has brought his Israel into joy from sadness. Loose from Pharaoh's bitter yoke, Jacob's sons and daughters, let them with a moistened foot through the Red Sea waters. Open my lips, thy mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, we sing to you a new song. All the earth sings to you. Alleluia. Psalm 96, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, we sing to you a new song. All the earth sings to you. We sing to you and bless your name and proclaim your salvation from day to day. We declare your glory among the nations, your wonders among all peoples. For you are great and greatly to be praised. You are to be feared above all gods. For the gods of the nations are but idols, because it was you who made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before you. Strength and beauty are in your sanctuary. We give you glory and strength. We give you the glory due your name. We bring offerings and come into your courts, and we worship you in the beauty of your holiness. All the earth trembles before you. We say among the nations that you reign. The world you establish shall not be moved. You judge the people righteously. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. Let the sea roar and all therein thunder praise. Let the field be joyful and all therein shout for joy. And then all the trees of the wood will rejoice before you. For you come, you come to judge the earth. You will judge the world with righteousness and the people with truth. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. We sing to you a new song. All the earth sings to you. Alleluia. A reading from the wisdom of Jesus bin Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus. The pride of the higher realms is the clear vault of the sky, as glorious to behold as the sight of the heavens. The sun, when it appears, proclaims as it rises what a marvelous instrument it is, the work of the Most High. At noon it parches the land, and who can withstand its burning heat? A man tending a furnace works in burning heat, but three times as hot is the sun scorching the mountains. It breathes out their fiery vapors, and its bright rays blind the eyes. Great is the Most High who made it. At his orders it hurries on its course. It is the moon that marks the changing seasons, governing the times, their everlasting sign. From the moon comes the sign for festal days, a light that wanes when it completes its course. The new moon, as its name suggests, renews itself. How marvelous it is in this change, a beacon to the hosts on high, shining in the vault of the heavens. The glory of the stars is the beauty of heaven, a glittering array in the heights of the Lord. On the orders of the Holy One, they stand in their appointed places. They never relax in their watches. 
Look at the rainbow and praise him who made it. It is exceedingly beautiful in its brightness. It encircles the sky with its glorious arc. The hands of the Most High have stretched it out. We could say more, but could never say enough. Let the final word be, He is all. Where can we find the strength to praise Him? For He is greater than all His works. Awesome is the Lord, and very great, and marvelous is His power. Glorify the Lord and exalt Him as much as you can, for He surpasses even that. And when you exalt him, summon all your strength, and do not grow weary, for you cannot praise him enough. Who has seen him and can describe him? Or who can extol him as he is? Many things greater than these lie hidden, for I have seen but few of his works. Here ends the lesson. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia! You are worthy, O Christ, to receive glory and honor and power. Alleluia! A canticle from the Revelation to John. And please recite it with me. Alleluia, you are worthy, O Christ, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and for your pleasure they are and were created. You are worthy to take the book and to open its seals, for you were slain. And by your blood you redeemed for God saints from every tribe and language and people and nation. You have made us to be rulers and priests to serve our God, and we will reign on earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain, to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might, and honor and glory and blessing. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.